now you're out with Chevelle. You've been out for a year. Are you starting to care about your contract rider a lot more? What's in the dressing room you know, and what's going on? You know, it's funny. Uh, the very first time we ever got a rider, we didn't understand how it works. Um, so we just, like, ordered the same stuff every day. You know, like, we just had, like, one rider in the beginning right. of the tour. And and, uh, and this was actually, this was in 06. We were on we were on tour with uh, Seether and Shinedown. And, and they were very gracious, even though we were you know, had nothing going on at the time. They gave us a full rider. But we didn't understand that we could actually change it every day. So at the end of that tour, we had, like... 40 bottles of tequila, um, you know, like like 20 bottles of wine, you know, and like cases of beer. Just like, well, just put it in the trailer. I mean, you know, and uh, so now we've gotten a little smarter with it. We're still kind of, you know, meager with it. You know, we just we don't want a whole well, lot of stuff. It's but. the kind of thing people who've never been on the road for, for months at a time, they'll get the you know, only green M&M's. Boy, those guys are real a-holes. And the truth is, is that you start to go. I just want to know that somebody's paying attention to me a little bit. <laughs> you know? And when you're out there, the only privacy you've got if you're on a tour bus is a small coffin-shaped place that either smells like your feet or <laughs> And there's really no chance for you to get away from the people that you're riding around with. So you better love them. And it's even worse if you're in a van. So the only place you get satisfaction is to go, this is not my brand of <laughs> peanut <is> butter. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. I said chunky. I, I absolutely agree, and um, <laughs> and you know it might actually get to that point. You never know. The next time, is <laughs> anybody paying attention? Is anybody paying attention? Yeah, actually, it's it's so funny. The guys actually suggested, um, you know, well we we did we did think about condoms, but then the guys are like, well, what about tampons? Just ask oh. some some poor guy goes in. <laughs> We'd never get those. I would not think you should but, put it in there, but but put it uh, set it up so that you know. If it's around the 15th of the month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In parentheses. That gets a little too personal. Do I really want the runner studying this? You know, especially with everything, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, Twitter and MySpace. Like, yeah. I, I, I'll tell you what, something that's that's kind of interesting about Twitter, I I get these uh, Google alerts, whereas if, uh, you know, any of the guys' names or my name or the band name comes up, I get an email about it, right? And more times than not, um, it sometimes it'll be like whatever tweet I did. If they, I I feel such I, I feel so lame saying kind of weird word. saying that isn't it? Tweet. Yeah, isn't that weird? Um, you know, and it'll get it'll be something that I said like a month ago that all of a sudden now it's just out there. It's not even right. on Twitter anyway. It's just out there on you the internet. You can't do anything. I can't do anything about it. But um, but you know, it's, yeah, every single you just got to think about move that. You make <laughs> is someone's tweeting it, or you're going to end up on TMZ. So I mean, thank God you're I backstage, you know, it, it, <laughs> what, what if you have a bad night or something or you don't feel so good, you know? Well, you know what? We we talked about that. We're like, you know, every single night is almost like making a DVD because everyone's got their little handheld right. Right. everything, you know, so it Put ends up on YouTube. On. And the tough part is, is it's the one day that they're seeing you. So if you come through and you do anything but smile, curtsy, and sing, they go, wow, that Lizzie turned into a bitch. Jesus. Yes, you did. And they've seen you one that's, that's the segment that's of your time. life, right? I yeah. used to exactly. like them. <laughs> she shattered my dreams and hopes. Shattered them. I tried to say hi to her, and she looked at me like I was dog meat. <laughs> This personal experience. No. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm getting flashbacks. No. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to put you in the performance studio, the bootleg studio. What are you going to play for us? Um, we're going to play uh, one off our record. We're probably going to play uh, I'm Not an Angel, and then we're going to play our new single, It's Not You. All right, so let's do that. Uh, let's do the angel tune. I heard that that's fabulous. My friend in uh, Salt Lake called me and said, oh, you got to have her do it. You guys yeah. all talk to each other. My goodness. We're a bunch of, <laughs> we got nothing to do. We're just saying, right. they're coming. We should call and see how they were yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Lizzie's What's a bitch. 